Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today I wanted to go ahead and show you guys some more endgame content with the uh, Detonate Dead Necromancer. So we're currently breezing through pretty much all content, uh, including Guardians. The scariest Guardian so far has been Hydra. I know you guys haven't seen any Guardian content yet, uh, but I decided I wanted to show you guys some of the damage. So I'm going to be fighting Mr. Shaper on this video. Now, I apologize ahead of time if this is a bit sloppy. Um, I haven't done any Guardian, or any, sorry, I haven't done Shaper on this guy before, so I haven't practiced. And my character moves really slow, which is what I don't really like, because I still have not gotten to upgrade these movement speed boots. But I figured, fuck it, I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys. So let's get started with the Shaper video. Now, I can't really go over... I'm not going to go over all of my upgrades that I've gotten, but from the last video, I think it's this vermilion ring I went ahead and crafted with uh, fire essence. Uh, these gloves I crafted with pristine essence for the life. Um, and then I think this marble amulet that I allocated deflection so that we have 50% spell block. 54% spell block. We've also had no deaths on this character up till this point. Uh, the Miner is very strong for Hardcore. Pretty much all of my builds are still kind of designed for Hardcore because that's just the mindset I play in. Now, if you want to boost your single target a ton, the best thing for you to do is to start summoning Spectres. Basically, level 20 Spectre Gem will allow you to have three Spectres. So you could raise three very high life Spectres, like Katava, Herald, etc., and etc. And then I'm pretty sure you can just remove them after you've gotten into the map. And what those Spectres will do is when you desecrate, you can pull up the, like, Katava, Herald, and the other guys. And those guys do ve they have very high health, which makes your Detonate dead very strong for damage. I'm way too fucking lazy to do that, so I don't really want to do that. Can I just tank this? Almost can tank it, actually. Cool. Now, to make this character farm Shaper easier, I would probably drop a couple of life nodes uh, and get regen. Regen goes a long way against the stupid-ass pools, so like 0 0.5 regen, 0 0.3, and then there's a 1%, there's a 1% here, and then there's another regen. So, Oh, here. Did I say this one? 1% there. That's probably my main concern now, is I don't really have good sustain, uh, aside from my block mechanic, which heals me. Shaper is very streaky with his damage. It's either like you're dead or your full life. A lot of bosses, actually. Most bosses in POE are. Alright, wish me luck. Let's see how the damage is. And you shall obey my order. He's slamming already? They're coming through. Hmm. Well, he's phase. That was pretty easy. Or almost phased, at least. Is he slamming? Can I tank this? 
Oh, I blocked it. He's trying to recover. Hurry! Let's find a way back. Only problem about tanking a Shaper Slam is I have no way of regenning back to full. Uh, if I tank a slam. I mean, I have Consecrated Ground Flash, but standing still is not really advisable. I feel like this guy's more fucking tanky than Shaper, dude. What's up with that? Why is this guy so tanky, dude? Take it! Oh. I dodged, I blocked again, boys. He's injured, but not for long. We need to get back. <laughs> Better try again, dude. Maybe, we'll see. I wonder if I pull this guy to the corpse. Never mind, I just boomed the corpses with my offering. So we just wait for him to beam again, and then we'll hit him with another Vol DD. I'm your true memory. To save the future. Buy me some time. Come to me. I hope that ball doesn't come to me. Tank it! Oh! We did it, boys.